imaging sensors that create slow motion replay of light as it travels, high powered blue lasers, and karaoke robots. On this episode of Light Matters, we take you to Photonics West and introduce you to some well-known companies in the photonics industry and to some startups hoping to make an impact with new technologies. Hello, I'm Justine Murphy, and this is Light Matters for February 2018. Over 1,300 companies exhibited their products at Photonics West this year in San Francisco. The exhibition offered attendees face-to-face -face access to the world's top suppliers, hiring companies, and business sessions. We'll take you there later in the show. But first, last month, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts granted Worcester Polytechnic Institute and Quinn Sigamond Community College over $4 million to launch a Photonics Academy lab for education and application prototypes known as LEAP. Researchers at WPI's Higgins Laboratories are a big player in LEAP, and they're offering tours of the facility for the next few months. The tour was a, a multitude of photonics technologies. Uh, most of it was on tabletop. Uh, a lot of it was measuring things at nanometer precision levels, like such as the motion of the eardrum with, with interferometry techniques, or looking at the, the subtle changes in the light patterns. And the, the whole idea with this initiative is being able to take that technology, miniaturizing it, and applying it to fields like uh, being able to look at the eardrum and, and evaluating the, the health or condition of an eardrum, or other types of fields, robotics, navigational systems. Um, and so it's about combining photonics with electronics uh, and efficient ways to miniaturize it and create new technologies that then will have new applications. Professor Petke said WPI will be offering tours and different events to get feedback from industry partners as they build out the LEAP facility. SPIE's Photonics West exhibition, held every year in San Francisco, is the premier photonics and laser event. This year's show featured over 1,300 exhibiting companies and attracted over 23,000 attendees. Photonics Media's news editor, Autumn Pilant, takes us to the showroom floor of the Moscone Center for the Photonics Industry's flagship event. We did it again. SPIE welcomes you to Photonics West. Companies from all over the world showcase their latest products, tools, and applications in the fields of optics, lasers, biomedical optics, optoelectronic components, and imaging technologies. Actually, our unique body proposition is blue lasers offer extremely high quality welding and cutting and material processing compared to infrared laser. For instance, we, have, we can make welds with very little defect or zero defect, very high quality weld, and we do it at a speed, a welding speed which is two to 10 times faster than infrared. We're featuring our submicron uh, high accuracy femto bonder, which has a placement accuracy of uh, plus or minus a half micron. And this is very, very uh, sought after in high accuracy laser attach applications and, and uh, in the photonics industry in general. Well, ESCO is a manufacturer of custom optics. Uh, our manufacturing plant is in New Jersey, and we service the optics industry by uh, producing windows, lenses, prisms, um, A spheres, cylinders, and A cylinders. For many exhibitors, attending this show has become a yearly tradition. So our whole theme for this year and for some years going forward is that the future depends on optics. So as you can see from the wall behind me and some other aspects of our booth, we're really trying to emphasize that, highlight the groundbreaking you know, applications that use a lot of our optics. And so we're definitely trying to highlight that through our demos and also how we describe our products to people. Recent startup company Photon Force from Scotland hopes to make Photonics West a tradition. So we're excited to be at Photonics West uh, for the second time this year. Photon Force is the world's only supplier of time-resolved single photon avalanche diode uh, SPAD cameras. And our cameras have a 50 picoseconds time resolution, which is actually fast enough that you can create a slow motion replay of light as it travels. Visitors to Photonics West 2018 had the opportunity to shop around, if you will, and see firsthand what's available in the field from time-tested products to new innovations. They even had the opportunity to meet YouTube sensation and do-it-yourself laser maker Styro Pyro, who traveled to San Francisco with Esco Optics. 
ESCO Optics makes me a bunch of custom optics. So like, I built this giant ruby laser recently and it's an extremely, extremely powerful pulse laser. And it, I mean, it can blow up like a glass bottle, but the issue is, uh, like I could source this ruby crystal, but I couldn't just use regular mirrors on it because they would vaporize in that, in that extreme intense field. So, uh, and it was really hard to source some of these mirrors, so ESCO made some for me custom. And if that wasn't enough, entertainment was also part of the overall experience. Oh, what are you looking at? You look Never seen a robot before. <laughs> Reporting for Photonics Media and Light Matters, I'm Autumn Pilot. Thanks, Autumn. Find out more about Styro Pyro in this month's episode of Light Matters Extra, available at photonics.com. Marking its 10th year, the 2018 PRISM Awards for Photonics Innovation, jointly sponsored by SPIE and Photonics Media, were announced at Photonics West. The awards recognize the industry's top innovations and groundbreaking technology. This year's awards shone a spotlight on 10 winners. The winner in the category of detectors and sensors was NKT Photonics. In environmental monitoring, Block Engineering took home the award. Sora Laser won for illumination and light sources. Luminar took the prize for imaging and cameras. In the laser category, it was Class 5 Photonics. In life science instrumentation, Quantum Sight received top honors. LIMO won for material processing and additive manufacturing. Continuous Biometrics won for Medical Diagnostics and Therapeutics. ADL Optica Optical Systems was awarded Top Optics and Optomechanical Components Company. And Spherix was named Top Test and Measurement Company in this year's competition. Congratulations to the 2018 PRISM Award winners. You can find out more about each company by visiting photonics.com. Well, that's it for this month's show. Make sure you check out our latest episode of Light Matters Extra, where we introduce you to Drake Anthony, AKA Styro Pyro. We had the opportunity to catch up with him at Photonics West. He's been building his own lasers since he was 12, and now he has help from ESCO Optics. Be sure to follow us on social media for the latest and coolest news and information. Until next time, keep following the photons.